Hey everyone, it's Play Madness, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play The Lord of the Rings Online. In the last part, we finished the human intro, and I decided, before we go any farther in the human intro, I'll show off some of the others, because every race does have its own intro, I think. I think that's new. Um, Pre-patch, last time I checked, dwarves and elves had their own intro, and humans and hobbits shared an intro, but apparently now they all have different intros. So, let's try it, and by popular demand, and by popular demand I mean one person, I am going to do a dwarf. Now as you can see over here, dwarves can be champions, guardians, which is what I was in the last part, hunters, which is strange to me, seeing a dwarf with a bow, minstrels, which are the healers, and rune keepers. I think I will do champion for this part. Oh, Blossom. Oh, my dog is jumping on me. It's what I get for recording in my room with my door open while laying down. Hello, do you want to say hi to everybody on YouTube? Urgh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Blech. Licking my face. Alright, let's continue. Let's see if I can get around her licking in my microphone. Urgh. Urgh. Okay, now she's uh, pushing herself up against my side. Okay, um, well, that was fun. Let's choose where we should be from. Blue Mountains, Iron Hills, the Lonely Mountain, the Grey Mountains, or the White Mountains. Let's, let's do the Lonely Mountain, just because I'm a fan of The Hobbit. Head options, it's basically just the size of your nose. I'm going to pick that one, doesn't really make a difference. Eyebrows, that's fine. Mouth, uh... Option two is all right. Details. Let's have a scar on our eyebrow because we're a dwarf. We're hardcore like that. And now my phone is going off. Who is texting me while I'm recording? Oh, it's it's Eris. That's fine. Uh, hairstyle. I can't even see. Uh, let's go for the big bushy braid. But let's see what else there is. How many options? There are 22 options. Whoa. I do not remember there being that many options. Huh. Don't you say a word. Um. You know, let's go with the long hair. I don't even care. How many dwarf beards can we have? Eighteen. Oh, God. It's the mustache. It's the mustache. I don't think I'm even worthy of the mustache. I can't do it. I'm not worthy. Um, that one's pretty cool. That one's funny. That one's weird. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. That'll work. And now for our name. What should our name be? Um. You know, I don't even know what our name should be. Gloin, beginning with consonants. Let's make it... Corin? Will Corin work? That name is taken. Unfortunately, I don't have a name planned out for this character already like I did with Anthrift. Uh... I kind of like the core opening. Coroalen. Go. That name is taken too? Let's see what the randomizer gives us. Cardoff, Gunadorm, Hironerlock, Stignarik. I kind of like that one. Let's go with that one. And there we go. Dwarf champion named Stignarik. Yes, let's go. Click on the giant button. Wait for it. Wait for it. Loading screen! God, every time I see this loading screen, I think, what happened to this thing's wings? It's got, like, holes burnt into it or something. And the edges are all torn up? Jeez. Maybe that's why it's so mad. I can't imagine that feeling good. There's this tiny little dude on the back, like, yeah, I'm on a dragon. 
I'm on a dragon, everybody. Hey, look at me. Straight sailing on a dragon on the deep blue sky. I don't know. Alright, and now the typical loading bar is full, but nothing's happening. And here we are, five minutes, and we are not even started playing yet. How nice. Oh, this is new. You don't usually start down in here. Huh. There are other people. And of course we have our title. Stignark of the Lonely Mountain. Um, and let's get our first quest. Talking to Bolly. Talk to Nosk Rimog in Farron's Court. Uh, yes, we already know all this. Um, let's talk to this guy. He'll give us a leather tunic. Uh, I know how experience works. Collect lynx pelts. He'll give us an old ring for it. Well, here we go. I guess. This is not going to be fun. Oh, what am I talking about? I don't like this game. Look at the elves. Why are there so many elves? Go away, elves. No one likes you. Um, Alright, so... Champion starts with three abilities. He starts with the wild attack, which is a single... Kind of like punch attack. A blade wall, which hits everybody in front of you. I'm going the wrong way. Hits everyone in front of you for an AoE attack. And there is the... Swift Strike, which is another just real quick single hit attack. Um. Anyway, we're supposed to be killing lynxes, but I don't know where to find them. Maybe it's on the map. Oh, wow. They're kind of everywhere. So yeah, let's go this way and see if we can find ourselves some lynxes. I have to admit, this is the very first dwarf... What is that... Sh that rock is kind of like floating there is that's not a rock that's s snow on a tree ah oh, well hey look kill this thing but anyway like I was saying this is the very first dwarf I've ever played as I know sacrilege she hasn't played as a dwarf before um, I've never been a big fan of the dwarves I've always preferred Especially in Lord of the Rings, I've always preferred human. Maybe elf. Anything about Hobbit. I hate Hobbits. Short little ankle biters they are. Stab them to death. Stab the cub to death. Now it's dead. And yes, they drop the lynx pelts, which is what we need. So up here we'll find another one. Stab. Stab. Slice. Cut. Kill it. Kill it in the face. These things have way too much HP. There's really no reason for them to have this much HP. Since right now we're sitting at 162 health, there's no way they could kill us. Oh well, at least we only need four. Pre-patch, a lot of these collection quests were like, collect 12, collect 10 or 12 of each object. Like kind of making it easier for the free-to-play new players. <sighs> Almost there. And that giant overhead swing only did two damage. My dwarf is so lame. And he's fat. That's probably why. I have an obese dwarf. That one didn't even drop a pelt? Come on. Really? Am I going to have to fight more of these things that I love the sound he makes when he attacks, though. Wow! <laughs> stab, stabby, stab. Am I not it? <sighs> Come on, just kill it. Thank you. Now it's dead. That one dropped a pelt. That one knew what was good for it. Now this one better drop me a pelt, or else I'm going to kill it and its entire family. Oh my god, I actually ran out of mana fighting these things. Really? And nope, I don't even have anything to restore mana. F go figure. 
So now I'm just gonna have to use my normal attacks to kill it until my mana comes back. Oh my god, this is gonna be irritating. Now, I don't see a difference between these two. This one, they both do the same amount of damage. I should probably know more about the game before I try to LP it, huh? Anyway, now that we have all four of those, we can come around here, jump off this cliff, turn around, and talk to this dwarf again! What's up, Nos? Give me your ring. He gave us the ring, and we leveled up. Look at the tree. Look at the ring. He gave us a ring of might. Could that possibly be a ring of power? Dun, dun, dun. Talk to the champion trainer. Now it's basically when you learn how to get your skills again. Um, so yeah, champion trainer's right here. All the other trainers are scattered around. Those are the armor smiths and weapon smiths. Other trainers are scattered around on these corners. Intro, thrill of the fight. Hit this training dummy with savage strikes. Browse the shop. I did not want to press that. I want to press train champion skills. Give me savage strikes. I know how to equip skills. Savage Strikes is two attacks that costs fervor. And this is the champion's kind of like unique thing. You see this bar over his attack button. This is called fervor. Each of these attacks, as you can see, adds one to fervor. And as you fight, you build up fervor points and then they can be spent on other attacks. So as you can see, this one requires three fervor and you use up two. So let's go up to a training dummy. Start building up our further fervor. 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 And now we can not use that one, use that one. Savage strikes, and that's it. Now we can come back and talk to the champion trainer. And because no one would ever let me live it down if I didn't go for the axe with my dwarf, I will use the axe. However, axe in the main hand. That looks dumb. Let's do axe in the primary hand. Or sword in the primary hand and axe in the offhand. So that looks cooler. We'll come up to Farron's court again and talk to this guy we started in front of, Polly. And he will give us fried mushrooms. Oh my god. Now we have access to the Lord of the Rings online store. Now I have to go talk to Olin. There's a lot of go talk to this guy, go talk to that guy in this. I just want to stab some stuff. Come on. He gives you your potions. Now we need to collect Nestadalus. Nestadalus fronds. Nestadalus. Nestadalus. Nestadalala. Nestadalus. I like saying that. Anyway, what does this guy have to give us? Kill frost wolves, kill grizzled frost wolves. Um, what exactly is the difference between a frost wolf and a grizzled frost wolf, Mr. Mr. Santa Claus? You look like Santa Claus. You look like Santa Claus. Don't look away from me. Santa Claus! Anyway. Um, so yeah, now we have the silver lined cure and when predator becomes prey. And I am going to take a seat. And I think that'll be it for this part. So next time on Lord of the Rings Online, we go kill Frost Wolves. We go find out what the difference between a Frost Wolf and a Grizzled Frost Wolf is. And hopefully kill them too. And we get to collect Nestadalas. 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 So I will see everybody tomorrow when we go collect Nastalas. <laughs>